right, plan for the day is pretty simple. I'm gonna try to catch some pretty good sized mine cichlids that we'll be able to fillet up, take those home, bake them up in this nice mango salsa recipe that I found online, and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start out using one of these little green uh, curly tail grubs on a 1 32nd ounce jig and we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, all set. Rain's coming down a bit. Just a light little drizzle here. And of course, there we go. Saw a couple of them right by those lily pads. See if we can get them to bite. There's one. One, a little too small. Two, it's not what we're going after. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh. All right. This very quickly would have turned in to a Jaguar catch and cook instead of a Mayan catch and cook. But we lost him. <laughs> that big guy took it. Fish on again. Same fish. We lost him again. <laughs> Nice one. Our mine cichlid catch and cook very quickly turned into Jaguar catch and cook. Nice fish, probably about close to a foot.
Be a good meal. So I'm gonna put him on ice. Probably fish for a little bit longer, see if I could catch anything else and call it a day. What's up guys? Just got back home a little while ago. Didn't catch the mine cichlids like I thought I would. Uh, got a couple smaller ones, nothing too big, not big enough to keep. Uh, but the day was saved. I got one jaguar cichlid. Pretty good one, 14 inches. And I thought it was a little big. Didn't really know how big they come. Looked up the Florida State record. Um, it was pretty close. Actually, I didn't weigh it. Um, mine was a little, little bit over 14 inches. The state record looked to be a little bit under 17. So probably about a two and a half inch difference. The state record's 2.67 pounds. Like I said, I didn't weigh mine. I'm sure mine was close. Um, but, oh well. So I'm going to head into the kitchen pretty soon, get started. I am not going to show you the entire cooking process. That would just take way too long. So I'll kind of time lapse through it. I'll put the recipe in the description and then you could make it for yourself. I'll see you in a little bit. Tastes the same. You just get a little chunk here. Came apart really easily. Got a little bit of mango on there. Mm. That is really good. 
nice white meat falls apart really easily good good amount of kind of orange taste with onion the onions pretty strong maybe a little bit too much but really good mix of sweet and kind of I don't know, oniony and also hot with the jalapeno. It's really good. Definitely recommended. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, but if you ever get a chance to try this recipe, I think it would look good with, work well with any kind of white white flush fish. Uh, sure, pan fish would work well, cod, anything else. So, give it a shot. All right, back in the future. Uh, I just finished up a work on the potatoes off camera, but I just wanted to give a little better description. Um, the orange juice kind of marinade that I baked it in was really good. It gave a subtle orangey taste to the fish, wasn't too overpowering. But if I could go back and do this again, I would probably put in a little bit less um, red onions and jalapenos. That just kind of overpowered the fish a little bit. It was way too strong and not as sweet as I would have liked. But the mango, orange, everything else came out pretty good. So, highly recommended.